This is an illustration of how the important components of the ACME experiment work. The apparatus is made up of two main components. On the left is the molecule beam source, and on the right is the interaction region where precise electric and magnetic fields are applied and the EDM measurement is performed. We need five layers of magnetic shielding to ensure that the Earth's magnetic field doesn't interfere with our measurement. The beam source relies on neon buffer gas to cool the thorium oxide molecules. A pulse tube cooler and several layers of thermal shielding are required to cool the neon gas down to about 15 degrees Kelvin. Thorium oxide molecules are created by ablating a ceramic with a pulsed laser. The thorium oxide molecules are cooled by the buffer gas and caught up in its flow, making a cold molecule beam. Most of the thorium oxide molecules are in the lower rotational levels of the electronic and vibrational ground state. We further rotationally cool the molecules with lasers and microwaves, transferring population to a single rotational level. When the molecules reach the interaction region, they are optically pumped from the ground state into a metastable electronic state where the electron EDM measurement is performed. A coherent spin superposition is prepared by exciting the molecules with a linearly polarized laser. This depletes some of the metastable state population and leaves behind a dark state orthogonal to the laser polarization. This dark state then processes in electric and magnetic fields that can be precisely tuned and reversed. The precession phase is read out by again exciting the molecules with a linearly polarized laser. This time the induced fluorescence is collected with large lenses and light pipes and measured with photomultiplier tubes. The laser is rapidly switched between two orthogonal linear polarizations. By comparing the fluorescence induced by each laser polarization, we can deduce the spin precession phase. This type of procedure allows us to measure the tiny phase that an electron EDM might produce, 